for clicking on this video and today I am chopping off my hair. Look at this. Wait, I gotta do like one more slow-mo clip before this is gone. Look at how long it is. It's pretty dang long. All right, wait. All right, so here's the dealio. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this hair. I know it's like nice and long, but I've had my hair this length since like I was 12 years old. Dyed it once in college for a modeling job that I did and I dyed it a red color and it looked so good. But I only had it like that for like a year. But as some of you know, I model so my agency and I decided it was time for a look change. I mean, I'm scared as ever, like I'm so scared. But I'm kind of like sick of it. Like it's just so long and it's kind of like stringy at this point. I don't know, like maybe I'm the only one who thinks that, maybe I'm not. I don't know, like it makes my hair like super flat because it's so long. And not only am I chopping it, but I'm also gonna dye it the red that it used to be as well. I love that red, so I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna like it, but you never know. <laughs> like I've kind of like held my hair in the mirror before like this, and it doesn't, I mean, <laughs> All right, it doesn't look good there. <laughs> I don't know. We gonna chop, choppity chop chop. I'm ready. So do I just like get the scissors now? So like just chop it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna cut it with scissors, okay? I've seen people all over the internet do that. I would never. I'm gonna go get it done professionally because I don't wanna mess it up. Also, I am going to hopefully be donating it. I measured it this morning where I wanna cut it. I don't wanna tell you yet where we're cutting it, but it was pretty dang short. And it was 11 inches. And I read online that you can donate as long as it's 10 inches minimum. Also, it's gonna be weird because apparently I have to wear a mask like as I'm getting my hair done. So I'm not even gonna be able to like, like I'm gonna be looking at myself like, like that. How am I supposed to know if it looks good? How? I'm so nervous, I'm gonna throw up. What if I hate it? What if I look ugly? Please don't tell me if I look ugly, but maybe like tell me like to fix it or something, I don't know. But yeah, so say goodbye to the hair. I don't know, okay, I just need to go, bye. Oh my God, okay. I have um, my bag and hair ties to donate. I have to call because of COVID, you can't just like walk in. These are my final. Moments with my hair, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna call the salon. Please hold a moment. Good morning, this is Diane, may I help you? Hi, um, I'm in the parking lot. My name's Natalie and I'm at appointment at 10.30. All right, Natalie, you can come on in with, uh, to the door now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, bye-bye. I'm gonna freak out. Okay, I, I decided to wear no makeup because I know I'm gonna cry. I already cried today, so that's why I'm looking a little rough, but okay, I will see you next time with my new hair. Goodbye. All right, you guys, I am back from the hairdressers officially with my new hairdo, okay? You can, little sneak peek, hello, that is my mouth. Um, so I brought my ring light out because I want you to be able to see this color that I got. It is so pretty. Um, I don't know if you're ready for this. I look different. I don't know if you're ready. <laughs> Are you ready? One, two, three. <sighs> oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my God. I look like a whole new person. I don't even recognize myself. I look like a spy. I feel like I look like a spy. It's crazy. It's so short. It's so fun though. What do you think? It's so different than my hair, like normally. Like the color. So I got it like a burgundy red. I cut off. 11 inches of my hair, 11 inches. This used to be on my head. It's so crazy, cause I've literally like never cut my hair this short. Actually I did 
when I was like 12 years old, but it went terribly. This is what it looked like. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. Like it was not cute at all. I would never go back to that. I grew it out immediately after that. So um, I will be donating this. Uh, you can see like I went to the hairdressers and I was just like, you know what? I have so much hair. I just want to donate it. So we had to like put it in this little ponytail and then we put it in the Ziploc bag afterwards. So now I just have some creepy human hair in my room because I have to send it off. I'm not sure where I'm going to send it yet. Um, when I was a kid, I donated it to Locks of Love. Um, but actually somebody reached out to me because I posted this on Instagram. If you're, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this haircut. I did post it. Um, but they reached out to me and said that Lox Love isn't the best place to donate um, your hair. So if you have any suggestions, please do let me know because I'm searching now before I send this off because I don't think I'm going to end up sending it to Lox Love now that I've heard what has happened. It's not terrible. It's just I think that there's a better um, organization that I could send it to probably. But yes, so this is the cut. It's actually called like a long bob, I think they call it, long bob, and um, it's like a blunt cut, so they literally took like a razor and went like whoop. So I'm going to show you this first clip when she went to first cut my hair. I was like holding it together so well in the beginning, and then as soon as she hit those scissors and I started to see like some of it come out from behind me and showing like how short the hair was, I bawled my eyes out. I cried so hard. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I was so sad. And I was like, you know what? Nope, nope, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I just needed to let out a good cry, you know? But it was fine. Um, I'm happy with the end results. Like, it, it's fun, it's new. I've never like had anything like this ever. One thing, I feel so much lighter right now that I don't have like this long hair basically like dripping down my body because that's what my hair felt like um, before I got a cut. But okay, so when I went in, I told them that I wanted like a deep dark red. And when they first cut, so we had to color it twice. Like I sat in that salon for I think over three hours. I had to sit there for a long time and it was like coloring my face and everything. Like everything was bloody red. And then we washed it and it was not it. It was not the color I wanted at all. It was like fire engine red. This is what it looked like. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is not it. And any, any, any way, shape or form, not what I'm looking for. I had example pictures, I'll show you here. So yes, yeah, so then we had to re-dye it, which is why it took so long in the chair. Honestly, I think I like it. Like, I think it looks really cool. I don't know if I like it as much as my old hair or not. I have not decided yet. I think it's more fun than my old hair, obviously, but I think like when I look at pictures, like I feel more like cute, like pretty. I don't know. I feel like I feel more pretty with the brown hair, but that was not the point of this haircut. The point of this haircut was to make me look more edgy for work because if some of you know that I model. Um, so, and I think for that purpose of trying to look more edgy, I think we 100% succeeded on that. Like I definitely look more edgy. I look more interesting, if that makes sense, I feel like. But yeah, I'm really proud of myself. If there's one thing, I'm really proud of myself because when, when it comes to change, I'm not very good at change. I shy away from change. I'm always way too nervous because I like things the way that they are, so I get way too scared to change them because I'm like, you know, things are good. Why would I want to like change? Um, but I think this year especially, like I've really, wow, I'm starting to get like, <laughs> I didn't mean for this video to be any kind of like emotional or anything, but I feel like this year and the end of last year, a lot of things have changed for me and I'm starting to be more comfortable with change and like taking risks and doing things that I wouldn't normally do, like things outside of the box and, I like that, like I think it's fun and I think um, just like during this time, you know, things are really hard and it's good to remember that just because things are changing doesn't mean that it'll be for the worst and we shouldn't fear change 
as much as we do especially me i shouldn't fear change um and yeah that's my ted talk and also i feel like i need to get out of the stigma of like the only way i'm pretty is if i have long hair like i feel like a lot of girls feel like that like their long hair like holds their beauty and i feel like we need to get out of that i feel like we need to just chop all the hair off <laughs> so yeah that's my new hair all right you guys well that is it i just wanted to bring you on this journey of showing me changing my hair because this was a big deal for me and i'm hoping that good things will come from it i mean it's just hair but all right you guys well that is it for me i hope you enjoyed this new little transformation that i shared with you here please like down below if you did and comment what you think and subscribe if you haven't yet i upload every single week usually on fridays i'll see you next time